hidden treasures of the 119th Psalm. How fun. We get to dig around in verse 79 today in the 119th Psalm. And this verse would be the seventh verse. How cool is that? In the Yud section. So when we're thinking about that anointing of the Yud, um, and again, it's another one of those let it be verses, but it's a really, really cool one in my opinion. And it has everything to do with the seventh anointing, which is delighting in the fear of the Lord. And I don't know about you, but when, you know, I'm in a whole group of people that love the Lord, you know, like I was last night, actually, I went to see the Christmas with the chosen. Oh, absolutely. It was more than a delight. I think my eyes <laughs> cried more tears than they have in a long, long time. But anyway, those kind of delights. So this verse reads in English, Verse 79, let those that fear thee turn unto me and those that have known thy testimonies. And so, boy, uh, King David, uh, as he wrote this or the Holy Spirit wrote it, they use so many yuds in this verse. It's unbelievable. (laughs) And it only makes sense that they would uh, because, you know, that idea of let is, is again, the beginning of of God's name, Yahweh, the the yud Hey, and then those that fear thee, that's Yura, that begins with a Yid, and then known is that Yada that we talked about in another psalm. And so how cool is it when we think about, and well, let's just talk about King David's story a minute and how the Jews teach this verse, is that the Sanhedrin had kicked David out during the Absalom incident, and so he was praying you know, that he could have back his band of brothers, you know, those people he had walked with. And so, you know, he's, he's asking that he could be returned um, to those that were in the Sanhedrin. Well, I don't know if you've ever um, experienced anything like that, but the, the cool part I love about this is those who have known that intimate with being an eyewitness to what God has done, and that's what, you know, those who have known his testimonies So the question is, if you had this happen in your life, when for whatever reason you got on the outs with your band of brothers or your band of sisters or or whatever that may be, and I can tell you that I'm I'm in the masculine journey, and one time we had a horrible breakup, and and one of our key members actually left, and um, it was my prayer many, many, many times, this very prayer, let those that fear, because I knew he had a wonderful relationship with the Lord, And I wanted to be back in fellowship with him. And interestingly, (laughs) after years of prayer, um, God restored that relationship. And and in fact, this very morning he texted me and I was like, man, this is just perfect timing. But I, I love this. There's nothing like coming back together in community. That's what the church is, the body of Christ And so when we are in community, there is a place of delight that can only happen in community as far as I'm concerned. And so this verse is a delight in the fear of the Lord is is when we come together, like it says here, let those who fear thee turn unto me and those that know thy testimonies. I, I hope that really this Christmas you have an opportunity in your own life, to continue to pray for that person that you may be on the outs with, that you know has a relationship with Christ. And there's no doubt in my mind that love overcomes a multitude of sins. It just does. And so my advice um, would be keep loving them and keep praying and ask God for wisdom, how you might be restored, because I, I love this. And it does share, you know, the way the verse says it, is this is in God's court right? Because he needs to let it be. He's the one that Yahweh is going is in the beginning of this verse. And so he's asking God to make this happen for him. Um, and it's no doubt in my mind, having experienced it, that that's exactly who's in charge and exactly how that happens. Thank you for listening today to the 119th Psalm.